Hello, Riverside STEM Academy students. We are excited for your return to campus. We've created this short video to illustrate some of the safety procedures and campus protocols for the days that you are on campus. Please do your very best to follow these simple rules and procedures. They are meant to keep all of us safe during this transitional time from distance learning back into the classroom. Let's make the remainder of the 2021 school year the best it can be. We're all in this together and welcome back. When arriving at RSA, please use the parking lot drop-off zone. Street curbside drop-off in front of the school is reserved for school buses. Exit vehicles at the drop-off zone near the seat walls, and make sure to have your belongings for the day and your face mask on. Middle school students will use the walkway ramp to get up to the campus level and follow the directional ground stickers. Middle school students should follow the stickers around the horseshoe leading to the side door of the NPR. High school students will use a different entry point near the yard, and will be described later in this video. Once middle school students arrive at the MPR side entrance, follow the instructions of campus staff. Be sure to maintain six feet between you and the next student and follow the floor markings to the digital thermometer scanner. Once your temperature is read and cleared, middle school students will proceed into the lunch quad and follow the signs to their grade level wings. Students will continue moving through the lunch quad and fifth grade students will proceed up the stairs while 6th through 8th grade students will use the ramp up to the upper grade level wings. Students, be sure to follow the signs and the directions of staff and maintain your 6 feet of separation. Students will report to their first block class for that school day. For all students, 5th through 12th grade, as you enter your classrooms, be sure to take your assigned seats and follow directions of your teachers about where to sit. The most important thing to remember when coming to the classroom is to maintain your six feet of separation from other students and be seated promptly when you arrive. For high school students, you will use the driveway sidewalk entrance nearest the yard and follow the ground markers that lead to the high school checkpoint. While waiting your turn, be sure to maintain six feet of separation. At the checkpoint, you will have your temperature checked and then you will proceed to your first block class for the day. All high school student foot traffic between the upper campus and the yard will be routed behind the MPR. As with driving a car, foot traffic going up and down the hill will be on the right-hand side only and be separated by reminder cones. Students should be continually moving without stopping for conversations or gatherings when moving between classes or at the beginning and ending of the day. In the upper part of the high school campus, the direction of flow should always be counterclockwise around the buildings, even if it means a longer route will result between classes. This will help keep student flow moving and prevent foot traffic jams around the upper classrooms. Safety in the classrooms is maintained by keeping six feet of separation between students while they are seated, the wearing of face masks at all times on campus, and the use of plastic shielding at each student workstation. Use of sinks for hand washing or restroom use will be as needed and one at a time. Surface cleaning in the classroom will be conducted by night custodial crews between cohorts. Each classroom is also supplied with disinfecting wipes for student use throughout the school day. High school students will wipe down their desk spaces at the end of each class period before exiting the classroom and may also be used at the beginning of class periods to ensure a clean work surface. Middle school students will not change classrooms during the day, but will have wipes available to clean their work surfaces as well. For restroom breaks, students will be encouraged to use the restroom when the need arises instead of waiting until classroom breaks. This will reduce restroom crowding. When arriving at the restroom, students will need to be sure the restroom is empty before entering. If in use, students will wait on the floor marking outside the door until the restroom becomes available. For hand washing, all sinks on campus are equipped with soap and paper towels. Hands should be washed thoroughly and as frequently as necessary to maintain cleanliness.
the lunch bell, exiting the classroom needs to happen one student at a time to maintain six feet of separation between students. Listen to your teacher for instruction on how to exit the classroom in the most efficient way possible. Students should bring a water bottle with them daily and use one of the two water bottle fillers installed on campus. One is located in the lunch quad and the other is in the yard. When arriving for lunch, students that bring their own lunch may report directly to a table while students who are having a school prepared lunch should use the hand sanitizer provided and grab a lunch from the station lunch carts. When selecting a table, students will be directed to sit with students in their classroom cohorts and use the bench stickers that show them where seats are available. Here's another lunch area on campus. Multiple lunch areas will be used on campus separated by grade level. Remember, the only time masks can be removed on campus is for eating lunch. They should remain on at all other times. Students will be excused from lunch when campus staff are ready for students to return to classrooms. This map shows where the lunch areas are for both lunches. Fifth grade students will be eating the lunch quad, sixth graders will be using the midfield, and seventh graders will use the upper plaza. For the second lunch, eighth graders will use the plaza, and high school ninth and tenth graders will use the midfield, while eleventh and twelfth graders will use the yard. At the end of the school day, there will be two separate dismissals. For middle school, students will remain in classrooms until their name or number appears on the classroom screen. When you see your name, you'll be dismissed from the classroom and you'll proceed to the lower parking lot to meet your vehicle. Students will not be permitted to stay on campus or congregate with other students and will need to report directly to their waiting ride. When waiting for your vehicle, you must maintain your six feet at all times with face masks on. High school students will be dismissed 15 minutes later and classrooms will be staggered. High school students should plan to meet their vehicles at the curb in front of school or in the adjacent streets near campus rather than in the lower lot to reduce traffic. The lower lot will be reserved for pickup of middle school students. Signs around campus will serve us as a constant reminder to maintain a safe campus. Students need to have their face mask on at all times that covers both the nose and the mouth. Students should use soap and water and hand sanitizer to keep their hands clean throughout the day. And six feet of separation on and off campus is key to ensuring that we all remain safe and healthy. We look forward to seeing you back on campus soon.